I'm sitting on my front and I hear over 60 gunshots. I actually heard every shot and when I came around here, it was still smoke in the air. More than 60 rounds fired from an assault rifle. Police say it happened around 1.30 Tuesday afternoon. One man died, two other men and one woman were hit by bullets. They're shooting indiscriminately into a neighborhood, you know, and it's kids. It's people who live here. It's family members and it's terrorizing communities. Police say the gunman escaped through an alley. The three injured were taken to the hospital and are expected to survive. You ain't got no regard for life. Like, and that's, that's a learned behavior. Like, he learned that from somewhere. All I could do is go around and say, no shoot zone, don't shoot here no more. And guess who get it? The shooters. Tyree Moorhead says this shooting is one of several that have happened in his no shoot zone on North Rose Street near Monument. He's tried to set them up around East Baltimore to stop the killing. But the shooters will still creep around here broad daylight while women and children go into the market. This is how these cowards are. The shooting happened near a safe streets location and the mayor's office is initiating a neighborhood stabilization effort in response. This community can expect Monsey, other city agencies and community based organizations to be out in this community in droves to provide resources, to provide a stabilization effect. But residents here, like Tyree, are beyond frustrated with the violence and disappointed with the response from authorities. But I look at the news and I see all these politicians smiling at who's going to get voted in, and I say, we shouldn't vote for none of y'all. Why are we dying in these streets? Kim Day, CWBAL, TV 11 News.